I just smudged the entire house and it's big time smoking. I've got all cupboards and doors open. This is Jacob's little courtyard. He likes to open up so Bea can go and hang out. He actually wants her to go. That's, um, that's for both of us. You can go if you want. I, I'm always saying, well, don't let her come over. And he goes, no, 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 I like her. She comes, she helps heal. So here's, you can see, I've just decided yesterday that I'm gonna get this bamboo and I'm gonna put it all the way across the back fence. You can see the little gardens coming together here. Is that bass poop? I gotta pick it up immediately. These tarps are going to be strung in a different spot and I'm trying to figure out where I want them to go. It might be that they need to go across here because in the summer, well, trying to, trying, trying to figure out where the sun's going to be. I love this tree. This tree is going to be absolutely covered in wind times. I've got some up already. And I was, uh, this is the steps here being cleared up. This glows at night. Um, she loves this yard. So now I'm watching her and she sits there all the time. So I'm gonna ask that rock be laid there because I don't want her laying in the dirt. I'll put nice, like, we'll make it nice. So maybe I'll even put a mat up there, but right along there is not gonna be dirt for her. And I was trying to figure out, I really would like to have a little patio here, like see this here. I'd like it to go all the way across and maybe come out to here. So there's like a flat area. And I'll probably put an area carpet down. I haven't decided yet. I don't want it to be junky looking. I'm getting a beautiful star jasmine to go right here and a mock orange to go right here. They prefer shade. And look at that, the sun's gonna, they're gonna get afternoon sun, but not too much. I think the sun will be, it'll be there. I don't think they'll get fried. And I was in my, it's interesting, cause in my backyard, this is my view. I don't, I like that I can't really see that backyard, but I, but I want to cover it even more. I'm going to put bamboo. I, I've decided it's probably going to cost me about two or three hundred dollars, but that'll go across there. Um, that's going to my old landlord, so I'm getting my own. My rose bushes are going to be out in the sun. They'll be planted up along. Maybe I'll put them up along there too, because they will be more along there. Umbrella right there. Um, here's my new bed frame. I love it. I've been staging the, here's my carpet. I've got some things that I've, uh, haven't put out yet. <laughs> God, it smells so bad in here. Whew. I'm not a fan of sage. I just know what it does and it's powerful. I've, uh, they're going to come over and say, why on earth are all the cupboard doors open? Jacob, I got this yesterday and my next door neighbor, Jacob, he plays the flute. And I said, can you play it for me? And it's absolutely, you couldn't even see the colors in this. It was so covered in smoke. Whoever had it was a smoker and just basically had it as a decoration. So he played it and it was so magical. He buys himself flowers all the time and one of his little flowers broke, broke off. So I thought, or two of them actually. Um, I have a hummingbird nest that fell right outside my front door and then he had one. Hummingbird says you will accomplish what might seem impossible to yourself as well as others. I have bells every time I open doors. Be the change you wish to see. But I'm, uh, this one just sounds like angelic. And I've got more, I'm trying to figure out where there's hooks and stuff, I'm gonna put them everywhere. So whichever way the wind blows, I'll probably hang some wind chimes along there too. When my doors are shut, I wanna be able to hear. I put that little one up there for Jacob. It's pretty. So I was sitting, I put my mom's food dog to guard the front door. And uh, the owner's coming down tonight and she says she wants to bring the house back to neutral. So she didn't want me to implant my energy in here. I'm sorry, my energy's already in here. So here I sit at this table and it's interesting. I don't have a, a complete unobstructed view of, of the goddess or the Sphinx from when I work. But what I do have and what I see very clearly at the top there is the squirrel with the tree in its lap. I see him very, very clearly. And now if I go into my front yard,
and it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going too far anyway. I'm gonna put that up there. Namaste. Hold on, baby. So if I go in my front yard, the front yard really didn't get a lot of attention. Nobody ever, I'm going to. Then I have my Sphinx completely. I have the goddess right there. I've got the squirrel at the top. I'm wondering, and I've got my dog and cat right there. Remember when I was at the dog, and you can't really see, they're kind of camouflaged right now, but that's the dog right there and the cat in front of it. And when I was up there, Spirit told me, your house is right there, and they pointed this way. And when I got back, I thought, oh my God, it's the same house that I asked for. I've dreamed about this house. Seven years ago, I dreamed about this house. I knew I was coming here. So, I'm gonna make this a little secret garden as well. Right now, this doesn't open because of the grapevines. But I'm gonna set it up so that this is actually a space, because this is a shady space. This is a really nice space. I'll have a couple chairs and a table out here. This is an apricot tree. This is a, I'm not sure what this is, a fruit tree as well crab apple or I'm not sure what that one is but I put my I'm gonna get a, a, I put one of my beautiful bowls out here for the birds and it's gonna be good because it won't be in the Sun and I'm gonna use purified water for them isn't that beautiful that river rock base I love it but right now I'm gritting the neighborhood charging clearing and charging the entire neighborhood <laughs> I walked along and they're gonna clean all this out so it can breathe again it's being smothered I love those pink flowers cut out the old rosemaries, get it going again. And I found that there's euphorbia right there. So I don't know if they can transplant that for me, if they can dig it out. If they can, I want them to bring it over in the in where I can enjoy it. Little irises, Oregon grape right there, irises here. Clearly getting a new mailbox. I saw one, you know, and I looked at it. Whenever I look at something for too long, I know I should be getting it. There's a reason I'm looking at it and I didn't get it. It was a brand new mailbox at the Goodwill for like $7. So I'm sorry I missed it, Spirit. I'm gonna ask for another one, please. I've got a little, this is gridded right here. That's a little quail. I don't know if you see it, but that I do and the crystals in it. That'll have a big plant right there eventually. And I saw army ants working right here. So I put a little protective shrine around for them. The ant says, or God says, go to the ant, you lazy one, learn from them. They work as a team. They all work together and they're very, very hard workers. They carry way more than their own weight. So they're important examples. I can see the goddess really well right now. She's right there. Wow. Walk right up and we're on my trailhead. So the silverback gorilla is right there in the center. Do you see it? His head is right there and there's his back. And on the other side of him are young lions on each side actually. So the silverback, the gorilla is between Sugarloaf Summit and the Sphinx Thunder Mountain. This is all, so my home, my home is because of the garden. The garden is very magical to me. Because of the garden is what I named it. I called it um, Angel's Whisper. Angel's Whisper at the Enchanted, how do I call it? Enchanted Cottage at Thunder Mountain. Because I felt it when I came out here. This garden is enchanted. Both of these gardens are enchanted. I worked my magic in that house with spirit and it feels alive again. And now this house is gonna come back to life. These trees are beautiful and enchanted. I love it in here. I do, and you love it in here. She's really peaceful here. She, she kind of didn't feel that way. I, that backyard wasn't, didn't, that wasn't mine. It was too much of a connection to the landlord here at the time. I stayed away from that backyard. Didn't ever work anything in it. But this one, I'm gonna completely work in it. Yep, that's her spot. Okay, I'm gonna fix something up for her there. We'll think about it, do it. 